Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play 358 over two days. Last time, we eliminated the spiked crawler in Agrabah, and by we, I mean Shion. Anyway, Luxord asked us to find all the chests inside Mission 82, which was the Agrabah mission that we did last time. So, once you talk to him, once you've found them all, we get ourselves a new mission. So, a new mission is now available. So, let's go and talk to Syax. And, as you can see, we get eliminate the windstorms and eliminate the scorching sphere as our new missions. So, we've got quite a bit of missions to do now. So, why don't we eliminate the windstorms? This mission is annoying for one reason in particular. The windstorms like to hang out near the entrance of Halloween Town, and if you're not locked on to them, what will end up happening is you will end up going through the doorway in Halloween Town back to this area right here, and then you'll end up basically uh, resetting all their health. That happened to me twice! So as a result, I decided to cut out my failures of doing that. I swear I went through the door twice and got so pissed off because all the health and all the damage I had done was pretty much negated on the windstorms. Windstorms are annoying. These are probably what I consider to be some of the most annoying bird heartless. Even more than the phantom tail to be quite honest because while well, the phantom tail teleports, there's three of the windstorms and they cause arrow effects. Luckily, Thundaga does a pretty good job against them. So, let us keep trying to take them out. Always having the Rage Gear is always a good thing to do because Rage Gear does quite a bit of damage. But so do the Windstorms, as you can tell. This is a pretty difficult mission, if you ask me, compared to some of the other ones, especially since we're on our own for this and don't have any teammates with us who can heal us. But luckily, I've got lots of curates. All right. Come on. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you're locked onto an enemy and you're near an entrance, what'll end up happening is you will not go through a doorway. But if you're not locked onto an enemy, you will go through a doorway. Always keep that in mind. That applies to every single Kingdom Hearts game inside the franchise. And look, we're getting close to the entrance again, so I'm wanting to move away because I've already done it twice that I've gone through. Fire! That was bad. Fire! I missed twice. All right. And... Fire! I don't know what I ended up hitting on that one, but apparently it didn't work. You're finished indeed. Let us grab that bad. I'm too high up. All right. My potion, okay, that tornado almost hit me. I've not even killed one of these things yet, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I think we spent a good majority of the mission the episode inside this mission. Because look at how much health they have too and how much damage I do. It's like, come on, throw me a bone. Alright. Kira. It's not garbage. We got boxes right here, so why don't we open them? A Thundaga recipe. Oh good, I could use more Thundaga. Another Thundaga recipe. Oh, you shouldn't have. Come on. And that's not even... These aren't even the worst Heartless that are in this mission, either. There's a very powerful Heartless in this mission, ladies and gentlemen. One we fought beforehand, but I'm not going to give the time of day. Oh my goodness, are they almost dead? Hi, Aether! Now I have magic use! Thunder! There we go! That kills one of them! So now, on the bright side, if I end up going through the doorway again, I will end up having one of them dead. Okay, let's see you. You, I've barely even touched. So, thunder! Wow, that did, like, no damage to you. 
Right? Fire! I miss. Fire! Okay, I guess you guys don't take fire damage? Well, better do this the old-fashioned way. And by old-fashioned way, I mean heal! Seriously, this part of the mission just took forever. Maybe I should have sped this up. Oh well. Let us keep on hitting the windstorms. Oh my goodness. Cura! Double the Curas! Double the magic. It's a good thing I have so many high ethers too. Alright, we'll take out this one next. I hate windstorms so much. This mission's so annoying because it takes so long. I don't even know why I'm doing the side missions. Well, I'm doing them because I want the slot releasers that do them, but I'd probably already be done with this game if I ignored all the side missions that were in it and just did the story missions. And that's sad. Sad when you can skip a good half of a game by just, you know, not caring. Oh well. And. Goodbye. That's windstorm number two. So now for the one that has the most health. Goody! Alright, come now. Come on. Take it out. Slow and steady wins the race. Apparently. Patience, it is a virtue, blah, blah, blah. All I know is I want to kill this windstorm because it, at this point inside the time of this mission, I had been here for about 15 minutes because of how long I ended up taking the first two times whittling down the health only to have it completely undone. And I realize there's going to be some people who don't believe me on that, but believe me when I say I went through the doorway twice and it reset their goddamn health. Garbage! Oh my goodness. Come on. You almost dead. You're almost dead. Let's take you out and be done with this. We've been here for seven goddamn minutes. Just doing the same thing. Bye. There we go. Mission complete. Which means now, we can go and explore Halloween Town for the remaining boxes! Where are the remaining boxes in Halloween Town? Well, there's the one that I didn't open, and there are two in the graveyard. When you go into the graveyard, there's going to be a fun little enemy waiting for you there. So, fully heal. Let us look around. For the boxes. And the Unity Badge. Goody, now I can do this in mission mode. It's what I've always wanted. Alright. And time for the fun enemy. It's an invisible! Goody! I'm not dealing with you because you have too much health. And you do too much damage. And this is a small enclosed area. Goodbye. There. I have all the boxes, and I have the mission fully completed. This is a good time. Good tidings. Good tidings for all. All right. And return to the castle. Let's see. I don't think this gives you... Eh, it gives you a decent amount of experience, but we got two Mega Elixir recipes. Too bad I'm never going to use an Omega Elixir in this entire game. Seriously, I forget that they exist. So, fleeting. Yeah, fleeting my patience. Well, that's what my patience is doing right now. My patience is fleeting. Okay. What about you, Ziggy? Good to know. And let's talk to Shion. Oh, believe me, I already did that in the last mission. So, we need to restock on some items. High potion. 
I potion. I potion. I potion. I have lots of high potions left. So we will use them. There we go. We are restocked up. So now let us go and tackle uh, easy mission after we go and talk to the Moogle shop. So we need to synthesize some high ethers. Which means time to spend my hard earned money. Give me high ethers cause I use them. And let us start making some elixirs. These are gonna be used for the end game. So make as many of those as you want. Because I, if you're following along and doing what I'm doing, you should have a lot of elixir recipes. Pretty well. So, we can search for Zaldin, we can eliminate the Scorching Sphere, or collect organization emblems inside of Neverland. So this is the story mission. This one will forward the days quite a bit. We have to collect hearts. And so at this point I'm debating, do I want to finish these missions or do I want to end up like just going through the story? And I decide we're gonna finish these missions. So, this is a rather easy organization emblem one, in a sense, because you can fly at a decent speed and get to all of them. Problem is, the Heartless that like to spawn here. It's not just Turquoise Marches. Oh no. There's a path that you can take that will guarantee you to get the full mission complete. I barely miss it. But what is that? Well, it's a familiar Heartless. And as we get closer, you can tell what it is. Yep, it's a Phantom Tail. Phantom Tails spawn in this mission. Because reasons. And it's not just one, it's like five. There are like five of the dang things. All right, so there's a badge right there and there's a chest. So, let's grab all the emblems. Almost out of mission complete. Okay, we got a turquoise march. These look like the last of the ones. So, mission complete. So close. But wait, Hawk. There's one I've missed! So why don't we take out this turquoise march and replenish it? Mayhaps this one will allow us to fully complete the mission for once. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. All right. So close, I am like one inch away from getting it. So, let's open this up, get a fire recipe, I don't care that I missed the Unity Badge and the Ordeal Badge. I will come back and get those off screen for when I eventually do Mission Mode. And times two. So that takes care of that, which means now we go on to our third mission on day 324. Which is going after the Scorching Sphere. Which is, you guessed it, another Morning Star variant. So, let us. I. Sh the Zaldan one will be in the next episode, and it'll pretty much take the entire episode. So, Scorching Sphere. And as always, certain magics will stop it. I don't really care too much about that. I do end up dying in this one, but I cut out the death because I was a little bit too reckless. So, open this up, and we get a tricky monkey. And block, and look at how much damage that does to the tricky monkey. Come on, you wanna play? Goodbye. It's a shame that that's one of the last tricky monkeys I'm ever going to fight. 
because I figured out how to cheese them really easily, and it took me the entire game to figure that out. Curse you, block. Why don't I utilize you more, and why can't I go through the door? All right. And here's the Scorching Sphere. Pretty much it does fire damage whenever it hits you. And it can cause Ignite. So watch out for that. That's pretty much all the Scorching Sphere does. All right. Dang it, if you weren't moving, I would have hit you with that barrel. Right? Come on. Up. And you also need to watch out because the Scorching Sphere does a lot of damage. I hit him barely. Look at how much damage this thing does. Great. Guess what? Yep. Things almost killed me. Let us do some cura. Ha! Managed to do it just in time. And let's take out the scorching sphere. And goodbye. Get a gear component D from that. Ooh, that's one step closer to tier four Keyblades. But that takes care of the Scorching Sphere. Yeah, I know, it was a lot faster than taking care of the Wind Waverins or whatever their name was. I even forgot their name. Yeesh. But let's open this up and get a Fire Auger recipe. Eh, that's decent, I guess. And we got a unity badge right here, so we can do this in mission mode later. But, anyway guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're gonna be searching for Zoldan in Beast Castle, because for some odd reason, that guy has a weird fixation on Beast Castle. See you all next time.